all right so now we are kind of done with the basic architecture of hdfs right now uh, we had one pending item like what happens if your name node fails right so for that in hadoop 1.0 in hadoop 1.0 they had a standby name node okay not standby secondary name node sorry so in hadoop 1.0 they had a secondary name node what second secondary name node used to do was it was like another master machine which would lie just along with the main name node and it will keep copying fs image file at regular intervals okay so let's say your secondary name node it copies your fs image file from the main name node after every one hour okay so what happens in that case is if your main primary name node dies you can manually bring your secondary name node up as a primary name node it will have your fs image up till the last snapshot right <clears throat> and it can basically <clears throat> uh become the primary name node you will lose some of your data but not all of your data right you can lose some of your data but not all of your data so it was a concept of just secondary name node it was not a hot backup of your name node it was a cold backup of your active name node right because when once, once your active name node dies you have to manually bring your secondary name node uh up as a primary name node right but in hadoop 2.0 they have come up with a high availability feature where you have a active name node and a standby name node right so what happens is you have two name nodes running at a given time and all the data nodes they are communicating with both the name nodes okay so they are sending the block reports to both these name nodes it's just that your clients will talk to active name node only okay and one more thing is when the active name node persists its metadata on the disk it it will write the metadata on a shared location so just think of your fs image file being present on this shared location which is accessible to both of these two name nodes right it's just that only active name node is writing to this fs image and your standby name node can read from it okay so when your active name node dies your standby name node will just come to know that active name node has died let's say they both have a heartbeat mechanism within themselves also so if active name node dies secondary standby name node will come to know that active name node has died i need to become primary name node active name node right your data nodes are anyway talking to your standby name node your standby name node has access to fs image and edit logs which are being written on the shared file location shared directory right so your standby name node can simply become your active name node without any problems and your clients now just need to connect to this active name node otherwise your cluster is completely up it does it does not have any downtime at all right so in hadoop 2.0 we have handled failure of name node as well completely make sense guys good all right okay there is one more uh, feature of uh, hadoop 2.0 which is sdfs federation so in hadoop 1.0 as i said there could be only one name node right i mean obviously you could have a secondary name node but all the metadata was being kept with one name node right so all the clients were being served by one name node now it has a problem attached with it so what is the problem so as we talked about your you know 
metadata size it keeps increasing as and when the number of files in your cluster are increasing right obviously you can keep adding more data nodes to your cluster and you can keep storing more data in your cluster right i mean if 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 your cluster is being filled you can add more data nodes and now you have more capacity in your cluster right you can just keep adding more data nodes and the capacity keeps increasing but because your name node keeps the metadata in memory there is a limit to the amount of metadata that can be kept in memory now let's say even if your name node has 200 gigabytes of ram even that will eventually fill right if you have billions of billions of files in your cluster your metadata size is going to increase and at some point you are going to hit a limit that you cannot store any more metadata in the main memory of your name node is that problem clear guys do you understand the uh, difficulty in storing that metadata okay eva is saying could you please explain the difference and significance of active standby and secondary name node sure eva let me just go back to that so <clears throat> active name node we all understand right active name node is a name node which is serving all the requests of the clients it has all the metadata in memory and it is serving all the requests of the clients right when we talk about secondary name node which was a concept in hadoop 1.0 okay secondary name node is something which is not talking to clients at all which does not have metadata in memory at all okay your standby name node is just doing one thing after every hour or after every uh, you know uh, configurable time it will copy the fs image file from the active name node to the secondary name node right so let's say i am secondary name node i will uh, only job that i am doing is after every hour i'll copy the fs image file to my own disk so that if the active name node dies right someone can come to me someone can come to me manually it can bring me up with that fs image right so that is the role of secondary name node it does not keep anything in memory it just copies the fs image file after some regular time so that your fs image file is being you know uh, kind of in other words you are just taking a backup of your fs image file at regular intervals right whereas your standby name node is a hot backup of your active name node right when you talk about standby name node it is almost as good as active name node it's just that it's not serving client requests all the data nodes they are aware of both these name nodes so in case of secondary name nodes your data nodes were not even aware of you know existence of secondary name node data nodes were just talking to the active name node and that's it whereas in case of standby name node your data nodes are talking to both the name nodes active as well as standby they are sending yet their heartbeat their block reports everything to both these name nodes your standby name node also keeps your metadata in memory right it's just that it's not serving the clients it will start serving the clients only when it figures out that active name node has died that's the only difference okay if i saying okay thanks so the standby feeds the secondary name node from the active name node so the secondary name node feeds the name node when it goes down and rebooted so uh, eva in in this particular diagram if you see there is no secondary name node right the reason is when you have sdfs high availability you don't need to run secondary name node you don't need to take backup of your fs image because your fs image is now present on a shared location right in a way it's already being taken back it's already being backed up right so in this particular picture there is no secondary name node secondary name node used to be in hadoop 1.0 which is not even present on any of these slides right so this slide just talks about standby and active name node so in hadoop 1.0 there was no standby name node in hadoop 2.0 you can still run secondary name node but there is no need to run secondary name node because your standby name node already has access to the complete metadata 